July 8th, 2019, Architectural Start Review Board meeting. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, we have uh, first on our agenda 174 Ashford Avenue, who is back uh, after a uh, site meeting um, that uh, EIER and I attended with uh, Salman and your owner. So just to go over what we talked about on site visit, we, uh, we looked at some of the adjacent houses kind of sort of directly next to one house on either side and then across the street. And um, I think part of what we were asking, uh, asking for was that this addition have more presence and that instead of um, completing that East elevation, which is the Young Street elevation, you know, I, I, this really makes sense to me. I mean, it's like starting to pull together, and actually, you, it's not, you know, you can't see, but reflected across this very narrow, it's almost a one lane street. Um, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's a two way street, but it's more like a private road or something. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but I think this reflects really nicely what's opposite, and I think this, this sort of works well as you're coming down Ashford and you see the side of the house. Um, I so drove by there actually a couple of weeks ago, yeah. maybe before last, so I know what you're talking about. This is a great improvement. So that was sort of our charge, was to, was to give the house, give this addition actually more presence rather than less. And um, um, I think that the side elevation, the east elevation works really, really well. Um, and I think the, you know, having having greater presence on the north elevation is also working well. I get my only my my, my big comment here is how um, the, how the detail works. It's hard hard to hard to tell from this the north elevation drawing, which is on the previous sheet. Um, so just how that um, pitch section at the front, what it, what exactly is happening there, and then how the two roofs relate to one another, or. Maybe don't. I don't know. Maybe those are things we can sort of work on right yeah, they, now. Well, at this it probably looks as a cricket. Yeah. Roof, you know, this portion over here, right? <coughs> what I can see in the um, roof plan. Oh, it's not on here. You have the yeah. roof plan? You have a roof plan? Yeah, yeah it was on the email that we got. Yeah. So, see, that's that's what it is. So it looks like a cricket. Are we, okay. Are we coming out? We don't have that lip there
Yeah, I, I think even, I mean, you know, do, should this have like a, a small window or something in there? Um, I don't know if it's a window or a vent or some it's kind of event. vent. Oh, you know, even sort of, a vent, yeah. Um, I'm just talking, but again, I'm talking about the north elevation where um, uh, you have the large area and we're just, you know. The gable? Yeah, the sort of the large flat. I'm assuming that's wood or painted siding? wood or siding. It's not. It's not clear well, what that. Is he going to be building um, siding that's in there? Okay. Basically, that area would be flat. So it's going to be the same siding. Given. Right. It's Just match the triangle there. would be flat. So not so no siding in the triangle. Um, well, there will, will be siding that is not, but it's made out of roofs, just flat roofs. Is this your flat? Yeah. So it'll look the that's, same. So that's what's on the house, though. Right? You have the you it'll have match the ship the lap on the house. Is there not? Is it, is it the the siding that's on the house now? Is it that's a that's so a paint. That's a wood. It's a clapboard. Okay. And and, but the detail is a lap detail, right? Right. It's yeah. all the lap painting. But the, here, I just wanted it to one a single detail. So one single painted panel. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So got it. Um, what do you think? Do you think should we be adding something in there? Just. Well, I think it, it mirrors the same kind of gamble over here, <coughs> right? But that's flat. Yeah. It's the same, it's same there, so it's not that. Because they're adding this, right? They're adding Yeah, that's new. Yeah. And the roof above the porch? Or the yeah, this is a new uh, I think it's new fine. section. Is that adding to be accessible? It'll look different texturally, right? Yes, there will texturally, be. Texturally, it'll look a lot different from the side. It'll just be a flat panel. It's, it's only six feet in height. I don't want to go any higher because it's a little over. And the advantage to this side is that this is what you see as you come down Nashville. Yeah, no, I, I, so I, I think get it's it. And then, you know, here, fine. This, this is actually, this is, the, the sidewalk is actually down at this grade. It's much lower. And then this is a this is a like a retaining wall right. here. Right. And then there's a you know sort of side stair here. And then this has some sort of you know. Yeah, it has a lot of screening on it. <clears throat> So the, this this kind of strong line here. I'm just trying to understand. This this very strong line doesn't delineate a separation of space. This is an overhanging. It is on the no. side elevation. It's not showing. No, it would be just like so this panel. so this is just a trim piece. Trim. Okay, trim. and that like, this is the same trim piece Correct. continuous. Okay, and this is what. Four inch piece. Do you have a? We usually use five. Five, okay. That's what I'm on. Five. So this is a five inch piece. What, this section here, again, is this a? It would be a flat. Just flat in plane with the window casing? Correct. Okay. So it leaves us three because Think we have a three, three next door. Three. And this is the one you're removing for the, ki the, the, the kitchen. Correct. Just get there is a kitchen going. So I think a vent would look nice. <clears throat> been some issues with the cells. Cells. I don't know. What about the 
posts to make the new posts. What are they? They're just round, square. This square. 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 Two It'll piece. Square. It's going to be six and eight on the bottom. Eight. Okay. I'm doing this because you need this for the drawing for us to get you out of here. Um, <laughs> <coughs> we're, we're working on okay, just um, So you are doing this, you are, you are putting a skylight right. up on this sheet. Okay, so that's for that room that we were talking about early on. We just talked about yeah. potentially uh, swapping the bathroom and, and the, making this room into bathroom. And there's a bathroom at the corner. So okay. we may do some adjustments. And this new, so right now you have a ramp, uh, quite a long one right, here. So the ramp comes off, and what are the side stairs? What is, what is the material here? What is this? Wood. This is a wood stair. Wood. Um, Painted to match. Yes. This is yeast elevation. This is flat panel as well, not siding. On the on the top, yes. On the yes. Top. yes. So could you actually put a window like this facing Ashford? Yes, we could. You don't have to make it, but I think it's nice. I mean it would look good. It, it's small, but it might be nice. Because they have one on the This breaks up such a flat area. It's right? a lot of space. Mm -hmm. a lot of well, I said the because <laughs> but you know, if you want to put a small window, money, but, yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, we already went up like thirty thousand. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to. Uh, I mean, we could create a frame, like a panel. Yeah. Anything will help. I think I would just do a vent. I, I know you don't need the vent per se, it. but I just think if, if so instead of a window, if you don't want to go, yeah, these do the window. Yeah, yeah. The window. Just do the window. It's very nice to have uh, uh, light coming in. When you store stuff up there. section this roof is going to come down it's the way it is right now and it's already we're not touching that corner yeah. it's coming above it so it's just going to be flashed <coughs> properly and then you're going to come down here with a leader or something what are you yes. going to do to get this yeah, yeah. Neighbors, uh, okay. Uh, we um, thank you for revisiting this a couple times with us, and thanks for having us out. Um, we appreciate the time and effort you're putting into it, and um, I think it's going to pay off well for you in the long run. Um, we have a couple of Minor changes and I'll mark up a set for you. We'll approve with those conditions. Yeah, so um, I'd like to make a motion we approve this application with the addition of a small window to be determined by the architect uh, uh, and the building department um, in the on the north elevation and the attic. Um, Why don't you point it out to match that? 
Yeah, I'll write it. I'll write it in. Let's sit. Do I have a second? Second. Do I have seconds? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you very much. I like the plan. Good. Good. <laughs> we do too. Much better. Let me mark up a clean one. Okay. Can I have some? Did yeah. I, does anyone have yeah. a clean one? No. I have a clean one. Let me, I'll mark this up at the end of the meeting. Thanks. Cool. Sure. Need, need another one. <laughs> Thank you. I think so. We, we, however, we, we didn't receive any drawings. Are we supposed to? Yeah, we didn't, no. Okay. I brought the old set if you want. Yeah. Just, I, I wasn't sure. I have the boards here if you want to. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. So at the last meeting, we tried to confirm that we were back and that the drawings that you saw at home a few years ago um, had been changed in accordance with the recommendations that we made um, in terms of massing, stripes on the plane, and all those kinds of things. Um, it seemed at the last meeting in terms of the design components, we were in good shape. can see yeah so we should so you're putting back a lot yeah I mean there's the, it's a very unusual site yeah. um, that has a retaining wall at the front yard off the street so there's an interesting challenge to begin with because well, we're doing we're basically positioning the house so that you won't have that we'll be able to come straight across and go to the house yeah. and get the garage underneath so you don't see it from the street which I think you know kind of sets things up well yeah. and then of course you get the retaining wall Project that far. So, if you want, I can bring the materials up. Yeah, sure. Let's. I, I think that you've summarized that well. A street? I'm sorry. Do you remember a uh, street view in comparison to the houses around it? Something I can't remember. Uh, no, I, I, no, I don't think. Were we you able that. to see this from Ashford? You, you, well, you I, I can show you what your view is. You know where the cleaners, the, the dry yeah. cleaners? Yeah, right. So it's it's just right it's right, right behind above, that, right. Behind kind it. of above it, behind it. Um, it's all it, I guess, it's how the street reads, so right? Oh, would. yeah, you can definitely see it. We designed it so that if you could, it would be nice to see. As opposed, I think this is unfortunate. That's um, next door. Right. That's from so the... So we're right behind this going up the hill, <coughs> and that's fairly substantial, and none of that's being lost. That, oh, that, the trees those, that big tree is staying. Yeah. Hey, you have what this looks like next to the houses next door to it? Um, or do you just have a street yeah. view? Like a street view? Yeah, we... Um, So you see the house on the left. Mm -hmm. See that when you on the street, there's a retaining wall. That 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 there's an eight foot drop mm -hmm. to right. the first floor of that house, which is pretty unusual. Right. From the other side. Yeah. No, from the street side. From, from, from Allen's side. side. So from you Alan's walk side? up on Allen, and there's a drop of eight feet retaining wall, and then the house starts below there. You yeah. can see the dashed in. Yeah. 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 Kind of Those are the grades. So what we're doing is we're basically creating a new retaining wall. <laughs> So I think in reality, it's going to be much higher. It's going to—it's much bigger when you're on the street than that house. To because the left. everything else is sunken in. Yeah, I mean, really but, but I—but I, you know, part of it is the problem of that grade yeah, where they built yeah. that wall, however they did right. that. I mean, it sort of. And the other houses. There's some the natural terrain. Other, no, there it is. Oh, okay. yeah, this, oh, right. So you right. see how it's like sunken. Yeah. So if you kind of this is the similar scale to the house we're building, except this is down in the hole. Um, if you look at other houses on the street, not that one, but these, you're dealing with houses that mm. have dimension to them. Yeah, you 
see how they're all sort of That's built the one up that you shipped from the other side. Right. This is this is across the street from the site. So it's I think what we've done is we've fit it in much better. Um, what is going on there? Yeah, if we can talk about some roundabout ideas now. Um, okay. Not really. <laughs> um, so the idea here is to have this be a much more standard, normal looking house. When you look at it from the street, you're seeing the first floor, second floor above. It is taller than the small house next door, but it's not as tall as the other houses. It's on that same side of the street. The colors? What do you saw up there? I think that house on the right is like a 12 inch Lincoln house. And this one is now you should have a little. It's far enough away. It doesn't tower. Right? It's not like that. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. And, and actually, what you guys were part of is we want him to yeah. sort of knock well, it back at the knock yeah, down at the back. Started. <clears throat> we had the back of the house. We had this eave coming up to there. Right. Mm -hmm. And you guys made the recommendation that we take a look at the. I remember the words clearly. There's a vision plan here in Dove Street. You might want to take a look at. Because we've made recommendations. It was a, it was a residential, residential guidelines. Residential guidelines. Diagram. Yeah. You might want to take a look at them. So, I, of course, that was very embarrassing to involve putting them together. But uh, we did, and that was a good suggestion. What we were able to do is bring the height of the back of the house down. So, it, you have the basement really to, as a first floor with a second floor. And then it kind of follows the way the hill steps up. And we did the same thing on the side towards the neighbor, where we broke that down so that you get the sense that you've got roof lines that are kind of tying in with what is around it. Um, there should be a list in front of you somewhere that shows materials. Did you find these? Mm -hmm. So main materials on the house are stucco on the basement and first floor, which is um, what's it called? Deco Plast is a, um, this is the wonderful name, Macadamia. Which I can, you know, you can see why they named it Macadamia. Um, but I think it works well with the color um, that we're doing in the hardy plank for the siding, which then works. We proposed the grand slate, the GAF, which I think with this kind of roof works very nice because it gives you good shadow lines. It's a heavy profile. Um, I'd love to be doing some. Synthetic slate or something like that, but I don't think it works. Um, the wood on the house is Philippine mahogany stained with Seekins um, teak. That's the deck, the porch, the railings, the, the front door, and the garage doors. And then the windows are Pella in Fossil, which is Great. a color that if you start to put these together, yeah, nice palette. it yeah. starts to make sense in palette. You're not doing black? I got chickened out when we started talking about flaming the outside of the house. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a spec house built by people who I don't want to trust with any kind of flames or anything. Or black. I think. Oh, you can buy that uh, pre-charred stuff. You can have someone try that. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. The world's gone crazy. <laughs> okay, so um, flashing on the roof is the terra bronze, which I think works well with that. Um, the desert sand is the color of the gutters and the leaders, which again kind of works well with both the stucco and with the clabber because it'll be coming down across the two and kind of re relates to the um, Pella colors. And then the color of the fascia and the soffits is Grant beige, which is actually in other things it's like a white. Um, where is the Rockport gray? Um, I don't remember, but it's on there somewhere. And then we've got the Cornwall gray is the, um, actually one of these is the Ford and Batten that we have around the garage door. But I don't know which one it is. That's okay, we're not gonna be okay. on colors. I think, we, I think you have a nice palette, you yeah. know, using natural wood and hardy plank and the stuff. Also very natural, with all yeah. the trees, fits yeah. in beautiful. What do the retaining walls look like? It's it says Yonkers granite yeah. from all the mountains in your well, Yonkers Granite is, I mean, Yonkers Granite goes all the way up to Irvington, and I happen to have, like, 30-foot high 
by about a half an acre of it. If anybody wants any Yonkers, Yonkers. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's it's really really beautiful ground. Where we, is it? Up in Irvington. We took down a mountain basically. You want some? Not me. Oh, are you gonna take it and sell it? No, 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 no. I have contractors now. I'm okay. just looking for some. That's why. Yeah, we don't want to have to pay to get rid of it. That's the whole point. Yes. So, so you, do you have a photo or something? To what? The the stone. Um, how they're going to make it? How they're going to put it together? Um, I little, don't, but it's I. It's a big part. Of, it's a big element to the house. It is. It's a dry stone wall, tight fit joints, um, gravity wall base. Um, so its base is two thirds of its height, and it has a two and twelve batter. And it will have a wrought, wrought iron, or actually steel, uh, railing on top. So it looks like wrought iron. If you want, I can bring... So it's a real picture. wall. Yeah, it's yeah. a real wall. Yeah. It's not a big wall. Yeah. I mean, we've got it all drawn. Details in it. Yeah. Okay. I know we've done probably the nicest walls on this side of Westchester. I believe you. I'm just... I... I uh, Looks good. Uh, do we have um, do we have any questions, comments? Are there any neighbors any here? Comments from the neighbors? <laughs> well, whenever you're here, I always assume. I got to go. I wanted to see where this thing was. It looks really it sounds good. Sounds nice. Yeah, it should be very nice. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's it should be the nicest house in the neighborhood, and then it'll raise everyone's taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Yeah. <clears throat> On second thought. Yeah. <laughs> the three and a half minutes are over. Yeah, I know. What did you say, three and a half hours? I meant three and a half minutes. He, he said three and a half hours. So does, does the stucco come up through the first floor? And yeah, the stucco is to here. Got it. And then there's the clapper above. And what we found is that that often helps the reef. It just feels like a comfortable house, particularly in a neighborhood where you have some houses that are smaller. So is this a spec house? It is a spec spec house. We're working for the guy who was going to build the house, who now has somebody who's buying it, and they're going to build the spec house. Okay. So who's I'm making it? Sure what that means. Right. <coughs> Macon is the owner that's selling the, the land. Line. And he still owns 364, which is the property that fronts on Ashford Avenue where they sell the Christmas trees. Oh, right. We're I know that. Is that near Numat Fence? Yeah. Right? right down from it. It's on the right hand side of Numat Fence. Yep. Actually, the left hand side of Numa. Yeah. Yeah. Towards and Arizona. that's where we're proposing a story story um, silver sliver building yeah. with 80 apartments, which would be nice. Okay, back to yeah. the application. <laughs> uh, I think the house looks great. Geometrically, materials, uh, neighbors are seem content. I think we are too. Any, any, uh, yeah, all right, this is going to be a record. I have to make a motion to approve this application as submitted. Do I have a second? I'll second it. And seconds. Thank Unanimous. You. Okay, thanks, Patty. Thanks, guys. It's, uh, 88 Asher.
So are you here on behalf of Hudson River Chiropractic or the building own, or the uh, owner of the building? I'm the sign company for Hudson River Chiropractic. Okay. That's what I, that's what I thought you were going to say, although I, I wanted you to say it all louder. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, the sign looks good to me. Um, no, no issues there. I, I guess my only comment, and this is, I, I'm, this is really for the record more than for you this particular project but this uh, this this building has a sign uh, problem uh, in that they they have a space which, which you are using for one sign and however they have multiple businesses and those businesses really need to be able to find signage they can't utilize the windows which is what they're doing now um, you know cover the windows in, in vinyl sticky signs um, that's a technical term that I'm sure you're aware of, um, but and you know we really wanted them to utilize this um, uh, this sign to to advertise for all the businesses. But uh, if the chiropractic office has uh, has worked out an arrangement and it's theirs, yeah. that's fine. But no, you know if someone needs to go below here, they can do that. But they're we're not going to allow multiple. Uh, right. Sort of and posts then, to go up no, on, they, that, on their lawn. That. And this used to be, I believe, before Apple Bay took over, it was several tenants on it. Yeah. And then, you know, Apple Bay's been out for a long time. Nobody has looked to go back up. So the chiropractic, I guess, has got approval from the from the owner that he's going to fix the sign. Okay. Um, any any comments on this? Neighbors here. No. When you when you do put in the sign, are the provisions to hang anything down that no, can nothing. nothing. What you see is no, no. I'm just saying in the future, if they wanted to <laughs> add, if someone wants to add a hanging sign below this for a different tenant. You got that? You guys would install some to that effect. All I can say is I'm working for the chiropractic, and this is what he wants to do with the sign. Understood. So if anybody say wants to come in the future, and if he comes to my company, I would say. That yeah, I mean, if they no, want no, to no, hang it below, it's pretty not going to be visible, but exactly. <laughs> it's really, no, that's going to be their no, problem. Like, I understand, like, if you're talking about another business, yeah. if they came to hire me, I would say, hey, we need to get the permit. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about, you'd obviously come back here. I'm just saying, right. does this, when you put this in. No, I don't think so, because it doesn't seem like anybody else wants to spend money to take over this sign. And that's why well, we had someone, we had someone here, we Recently. had someone in, uh, what was it? It was the a physical ago. therapy office yeah. that now has, is, is just put stickers in the windows. Um, the stickers are still there. Yeah, we told them to use this sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so this, uh, everything that he wanted is on there. All right. It's on there. All this stuff is on there. So I don't. I thought if that's what happens, then they'll have to come back. And they'll have to negotiate it with the chiropractic yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Really Chairman, there. I also oh, spoke to the building owner about this and. Yeah. We don't get anything from. Yeah, you know, like I don't want to hold this this right. particular business hostage over a derelict uh, building owner, but um, so you know, we just want. I just want to let you know, and I yeah. wanted to go on record no, uh, that that we're not going to be yeah, adding yeah, any new sign. They're putting a sports injury specialist right next to what is a sports injury rehab. Oh, yeah, maybe they're putting them maybe out of business. Maybe there's a little affiliation <laughs> here that we don't Could be, or competition. recognize or yeah. know or competition. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Know. yeah, it's hard to say. All right, uh, I'd like to make a motion we approve this as submitted. Do I have a second? I second that. All seconds? Unanimous? Okay, thank you. All right. 89 Northfield Avenue. Yeah. Oh, I don't worry about it. He'll be back. He's, he's always here. Actual uh, 
pressure treated what will be stained in some way? Uh, it's, oh. it's, it's going to be stained. That's okay, so this it's says. A tra so it's tracks in that. Like a okay. Oh, says, no, but the, pre oh, the pressure treated is the, is, the tip, is the lumber below. It's the lumber portion, right? Yeah. Is there yeah. some way you access the deck from the house? No. You don't. You just go from that. You just walk up, right. walk up. Correct. To the no structural changes whatsoever. You know, the rail. And it's not being attached to the house. So yeah, it's yeah, going to have a substructure, right? Yeah. Which will probably be exposed at the base, no. right? Except he has a, so he has a fascia board oh, here. Yeah, yeah. So in the, in drawing in detail six. Mm -hmm. So we won't, we won't see those. Right. And that fascia board, so if I'm looking at drawing C on A102, you have a, sorry, you mind, you mind coming up, or, or if you would grab the mic. And, oh, go ahead. Um, there's just a, so the, the fascia board around uh, the deck is painted, will be painted, or? Covered in this. Oh, so that fascia board is the yeah. vinyl. Yeah. Okay. Fascia board. Right. Sounds good. Can we to make a motion? We approve this application as submitted. Have a second. Second. Nine seconds. All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. One forty three Ashford Avenue. Oh, nice. Thank you. Have a nice To introduce yourself. My name is Kathy Fishaw. My daughter is the owner of the property, Marla Fishaw. It's a two family house, and we live downstairs, and she lives upstairs. So um, we're proposing a ground level rear deck with an entrance to the house through the first floor. Uh, we put in a second story deck last year. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so this is going to be the same material. So you are just adding a door and then the decking material yeah, it's from the same track spray yeah. decking. Okay. Pictures. I've 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 seen it. I've seen it since it was so built. It looks good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks great. It, I, I um, came out came out nicely. Yeah, so did the fencing and actually the whole house is, looks great after a lot of years of yeah. not looking I'll great. Take a look. And then where and that window is, will be a door. You're yes, replacing it's with the door. the same yeah. dimension, you know, the same width as the window. So make it bigger if you need. I mean, that that doesn't matter to us. Right. Whatever. And, um, Looks like a small window is my point. I don't know. It's, it's a it's a 32 inch door, okay. so you could put a door in there. Well, if it's easier to frame it that way, go for it. If you want to, if you you know. Well, put in a three foot door, you know, sometimes it's better to get furniture in there. Treks, yeah. nice railing. Yeah, looks good. They did the Trex rain system above it also yeah, on the upper deck. Yeah. The rain system, so yeah. there's not going to be accumulating water. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Well, there's one last step. We just have to. No, I don't have any questions. We have to, <laughs> we have to officially yeah. prove it. Uh, I'd like to make a motion. We approve this as submitted. Do I have a second? Brandon Seconds, all in favor, unanimous. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks Love so you. much. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, uh, Hamilton Street. I don't see anyone here. Did, 
This one we could take a look at. It's uh, sure. really for the construction. It's going to be up for about a year, the signs. It's just okay. the directional sign. I got it. I, that was a question I had. Yeah. Um, it's also, the, the so there's five, the numbers on this. Correct. Miniaturized. <laughs> plan is represents where we're, where they're going to have. Okay, so during construction, they want to they want to provide signage to get people to park in garages. Correct, because they're going to be working on uh, the different parking lots just Got to it. move the people around. Okay. Um, and they have asked for one year. So our our, our temporary sign six is a six, six month, month limit with an. Uh, an allowance for one renewal. So this site has a history of renewing temporary signs for in excess of the allowable period. So yes. I am, I, are we, we're going to approve a six month and then, or could do it that way. And, and then that. we'll, we'll give them one additional uh, if they need it. But yep. I, um, they're, they're definitely going to need it on this one because they gave us a breakdown of their construction okay. and they're not going to be done until October of 2020, I believe. Okay, so they really need they really need to apply for a whatever it's a 18 month uh, temporary sign. Is that what? Are they showing we a could, rendering we could, of a building that's already built, or what are they? I, I, say I, it again. The rendering just says tenant across it. I mean, it's just. They have adjacent to it. I have not. Well, the grocery store is out of business, so uh, so I, yeah, for a few a few months now. Oh, is that the one? That was the one. <laughs> That's the one. So are, I, I'm guessing they're doing some renovation of that building. It's not really clear. What uh, yeah, the parking decks are being redone on the parking deck for the hotel on the top, and the parking deck by Lombardo's. So this is. What are they, they're they're going to do it in different phases. Okay. So is that going to come before us, or that's just a that's a construction related issue? That's not yeah. That went before I think uh, planning and board of trustees. Okay. So these signs will go up in different increments, right? Depending on their phasing. Are nope. They they're all going to go up at, the same at time? one time. Hmm. And they will also supply people direct in traffic and stuff. I'm okay with it. It's going to be such a zoo if they're renovating. Yeah, no, I'm just for parking decks. Yeah, okay. It's going on until October of 2020. <laughs> what you said, October 2020. That means, I, I believe and then now he had six months of that. Just I think they just maybe more. Parking parking could be more. Yes, so yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. the you know it'll be like a wet summer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So the resurfacing they can't do it at any winter month. That's what it is. Yeah. That's part of the delay. It's part of the delay, right? Well, right. It's falling apart, right? I mean, they have to restructure a lot of this. So here, here's what I'd like to do here, because I, I, I don't want to be unreasonable. They, they, they've got a lot of work to do. Let's let's give a, a year approval for temporary right. sign, and then we'll have them come back in Eleven months or something, and give us a real estimate about you know we'll extend it for the period. That's but but um, you know, the idea is not to have temporary signs up for years. You know. um, so uh, let's see. I'll make a motion to approve this t uh, application for temporary five temporary signs at uh, Town Squares for a duration of one year. Do I have a second? All seconds. Unanimous. Motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. Second. Unanimous. Meeting adjourned.